This is Splatsville, in the heart of the Splatlands. Despite its old-fashioned appearance, it's seen enormous growth in recent years. It's also the hottest new place for inklings looking for things to do. First, Turf War. Get styling with some fresh fashion and get inking with even fresher weapons. Naturally, in a place called Splatsville, turf war battles are the locals' favorite pastime. Two teams of four will ink for three minutes. The team that inks the most in their color, in other words, claims the most turf, wins. Now, new techniques like the squid surge to swim up walls in a single burst, and the squid roll to jump out of ink while simultaneously turning around have also been spotted. Oh, while it's glowing like this, the move also slightly repels ink from opponents. Now, let's get into the inky essence of battles, weapons. First, it appears that all the basic weapons from previous games will be available. On top of that, Splatland-specific weapon types, such as the bow-like stringers, will make their destructive debut. We've also verified a new weapon type called Splatanas. This is the Splatana Wiper. Send blades of ink flying with the centrifugal force generated by swinging. Swing after charging up a bit, and it'll transform into a charged slash. As expected, it's powerful as a long-range attack. But the charged slash at close range is also quite devastating. Let's dive into the weapons that can help you claim even more turf. Special weapons. As the name implies, these are special kinds of weapons that can be unleashed after filling up the gauge from inking turf. some new types we've identified. So let's take a closer look. This is the Tactic Cooler. When it's activated, a fridge appears. You'll find in-game beverages stored inside. These have a variety of effects, like momentarily increasing speed. They come in packs of four, so take one and share the rest with your teammates. This is the Wave Breaker. When activated, it'll unleash waves around the area. It'll also mark an opponent's location and cause damage. Try to avoid them with a well-timed jump. Finally, the Reef Slider. Build up power, then charge into opponents who need a good splat. Once the attack ends, it'll explode and damage the surrounding area. Familiar special weapons like the Tenta Missiles, Ink Jet, Ink Storm, Ultra Stamp, and Booyah Bomb will also make their grand return. Special weapons are paired with main weapons, so find the combo that suits your splatting style. Turf War battles aren't the only things that happen here. You can also square off in Anarchy battles, where you compete for rankings. Hold the active zones in Splat Zones. Ride the tower to the goal in Tower Control. 
carry the Rainmaker to its destination in Rainmaker. Or collect and throw clams to score in Clam Blitz. Duke it out in these four modes, which are on rotation. Want to take on a challenge solo? Select Anarchy Battle Series. But if you want to team up with friends, joining Anarchy Battle Open is the way to go. You can also play private battles online. Set battle modes and other options to your liking. Why not play with your favorite battle modes alongside friends? This is the test range. Try out and get comfy with your weapons here. Besides being able to practice whenever you want, it's also a great place to get all warmed up while waiting for rivals to join a battle. Online friends will appear as 3D holograms. Drop in on friends in the midst of battle and play alongside them. You can also join up and start a battle on the same team. But you can also call out to friends in the lobby and invite them for battle to view battle replays. It appears that it can somewhat recreate recent battles. Fast forward. Or skip to a certain part. Or even swap to another player's view. Incredible! And now, this! Salmon Run is a simple job that requires four players to work together to collect power eggs from the Salmonids advancing on them. By defeating particularly ferocious creatures called Boss Salmonids, you can obtain valuable golden eggs. You'll need to collect and deliver plenty of golden eggs in order to complete this job. With new Boss Salmonids confirmed, make sure you're ready for an even more dangerous Salmon Run. This is one of the new King Salmon. It's unbelievable! It looks like they'll occasionally appear just before you complete the job. And it appears that you can fire golden eggs to deal massive damage. However, these battles are under a time limit, so rack up as much damage as possible to drive them back. And this... This is the still being researched big run. We believe this is when salmonids invade the city. It appears that this event happens once every few months. So brace yourselves, big run is coming. Oh, squid. I completely forgot to tell you about Deep Cut. They're an incredibly popular trio who hosts the Splatsville news program, Anarchy Splatcast. Check the news while doing other activities, as shown here. And it's been confirmed that Splatfests will make a return. In these events, you pick a team based on the announced theme, then settle the outcome via battle. And this time around, there will be three teams to choose from. Splatfests consist of two halves. In the first half, teams will compete in 4v4 turf war battles. The second half, is a tricolor turf war. It's a special mode where, whoa, three teams fight at the same time. All players on the team currently in first place will start in the center of the stage. Two players each from the second and third place teams will attack the first place team from opposite ends of the stage. Use the ultra signal to control the battle and contribute to the Splatfest while working alongside the members of Deep Cut. Okay, we're going to close out this presentation with an announcement from Deep Cut. Take it away.
that's all we have to share today. We hope you'll have an incredible time starting September 9th. Bye-bye!